Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Camp Cult. In this video, we are going to cover uh, the complete features of Parani M10 Boom Motorcycle Intercom, how to best use all its features and its Bluetooth range and uh, the intercom range and the shortcomings. So this video will help the people who are planning to buy as well as the people who have already bought and don't know how to use some of the features. So stay tuned to best utilize this headset. And if you want to see the unboxing video, I will also paste the link to the short I had made for this. Installation of this particular headset into your helmet is quite easy and a simple thing if you know around your uh, helmet. Make sure you measure your uh, ear canal well so that uh, you know you don't end up uh, fixing the velcro at the top or you know too much into the lower bottom of the helmet. So once you fix the velcro you just need to attach uh, these headsets which have the other end of the velcro and tuck in all the wires after removing the paddings. So it's quite easy and it's just a one time struggle once you do it it will be easier so the next time you can just you know remove them clean them and then put it back so that's all i do after every trip so make sure while you're doing it you don't end up uh, you know damaging the in, in internal parts of uh, your helmets because they are delicate and they are very critical uh, parts for your safety also ensure that you fix the device mount and the headset mic part at the left side so that you can control uh, the music while riding the bike without losing the acceleration. It comes with the clipper mount as well as the sticker mount. I prefer sticker mount because the clips might end up damaging the helmet. So it has the J mount inside both the mount so uh, it, uh, it, uh, it has a very snug fit so even if you shake it it will not fall down. It's, it's a very uh, uh, nice fit. I have tried it everywhere, right? So it will not fall down in any situation if you fit it properly. Yeah. So I hope you guys are familiar with the J-mount. And the best part of uh, this headset is the device itself is removable. So you can easily take it off and then you don't need any extra wire. So you can just put it in your uh, you know tank bag or a carry bag and connect it and charge it on the go. Also, it has USB-C type uh, charging ports, which is a big thumbs up because most Android phones use the same port. On the downside, these earpieces are uh, very thick uh, considering these are helmet uh, devices. So if you don't have a specific compartment in your helmet, if there is no provision, then it will stick on top of your uh, outer layer, making it completely, uh, you know, a bulgy and causing ear pain so you need a balaclava and if you are an audiophile or a music lover then guys you will be disappointed because this performs really bad at lows and even mids only the high tone uh, yeah it, it's okay but it, it's like you know fitting those old uh, loudspeakers into your helmet so it's extremely loud but absolutely no quality uh, especially if you receive any calls while riding then you you will hardly hear anything what the other person is saying the voice is not clear at all due to the wind blowing inside right so you can hardly hear anything but the mic quality is amazing i mean um, everybody whom i spoke to while riding the bike i may not have been able to hear them properly but they were able to hear me crystal clear and they even said that you know they felt like i was just sitting in my uh, noise cancelled room so it, it's that good so if you want to talk okay uh, you can barely hear them when the wind is blowing but still it uh, you know you can understand few words in between but yeah it's still manageable guys i mean um, we can't expect much because we are we are riding at that speed and uh, nothing can fix that limitation i feel but uh, for this price range i think it's okay Turning the device on or off is a little tricky. This is for a reason so that we accidentally don't turn off while riding. So you have to press the top button and then the jog dial button together for two to three seconds. Then it will turn off and uh, turn back on uh, as well. So uh, it's not uh, that difficult either, but it's, it's a good thing I feel. Pairing with the mobile phone is quite easy. When you turn on the device, it's automatically in the pairing mode and your mobile phone will detect uh, the head, uh, headset. 
and if you are doing it for the first time uh, you just have to tap and hold uh, the jog dial for few seconds and then it will be in pairing mode again but do remember you can connect this to only one mobile at a time so multi device connection is not enabled for this device bluetooth range and reception both are excellent so even if i keep uh, the phone in the third floor and if i go to ground floor so uh, the voice doesn't deter and uh, it works seamlessly that that's very impressive now let's look at its um, main unique feature that is pairing uh, it with other intercom devices remember it supports only the parani headsets not all the sina ba uh, sina backed uh, headsets or any other third party make right so to pair it with other intercoms you just press hold press and hold uh, the jog dial for more than 5 seconds it will go in this pairing mode when it goes to this mode remember it will disconnect your bluetooth connection so you will not be able to listen to the music when you are connected to other intercoms so th that's one thing uh, yeah that that's obvious as well and uh, once it is connected uh, you can uh, single tap or double tap or triple tap to switch to first second and third uh, you know uh, intercom receivers so that's how it works and uh, if you just want to disconnect uh, you do a single tap and then uh, it will disconnect uh, the connected intercom i mean you don't have to press any button while speaking every time it the channel is open all the time so if you want to end it then you will have to tap the jog dial Intercom range promised by Parani is 1 km and trust me in real world it's nowhere near that I mean even 0.5 uh, km half a km or 600 meters also it starts uh, you know breaking the voice I have tested it with my friends within the city as well as on the highway so if there are many tall buildings around you or if you are in a deep forest or something let's say around 400 meters itself it will uh, start chopping off Yeah, and to be frank with you we usually use uh, the normal phone calls because that is more reliable than this and it has no distance limitation yeah sorry for being mediocre here answering a new incoming call is quite easy you just press the top power button and then it will pick the call and if you want to reject you have to press and hold this jog dial for 3 uh, to 5 seconds and it will reject and if you are already on a call and you want to disconnect it press the top power button again it will disconnect another interesting feature is speed dial not only incoming calls you can make your own, uh, own outgoing calls while riding the bike you just press and hold the uh, jog dial for 5 seconds and rotate the uh, jog dial anti clockwise you can dial the last number or you can set up uh, three speed dials so which is a little tricky but yes it's useful and whatever you are doing you can hear that uh, within your uh, you know ears that uh, you are dialing the last number or speed dial 1 2 3 etc right that's a quite useful feature uh, because if you want to dial the quick number you can set it up and uh, you can talk while riding without stopping the bike that that's a good thing Build quality of the device is uh, impressive. It might look little flimsy, but trust me, it's very sturdy, and the buttons are very tactile. And I have almost dropped it, uh, you know, to four to five times even from the bike. You can see that small scratch as well uh, on the jog dial. But yeah, it held well uh, without any major damages or problems with the device. So that's quite good. Even the battery life, uh, it's quite good. If you are just using it with the Bluetooth, it will go up to 10 to 15 hours. And if you are using it with uh, the intercom, then 5 to 5.5 hours I have got. So maybe 4.5, uh, let's say. But with the Bluetooth alone, uh, with for music, it will go hours and hours. So even I would say more than 15 hours. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. while on the go it's important uh, we know how to control the music so first ensure when uh, you're starting the ride before you open and uh, keep the music app open otherwise sometimes the phone does not recognize these clicks so to pause and play you just have to press and hold the jog dial for 1 second and uh, single tap of the jog dial won't do anything and to increase and uh, decrease the volume you have to rotate uh, clockwise no no sorry anti clockwise and clockwise to increase and decrease respectively 
and to change the track you just have to hold the jog dial and then rotate clockwise for previous uh, ne sorry next track and uh, anti clockwise for previous track and i'm confused it's actually other way around anyways you got the point yeah now the most important and uh, the actual purpose of these headset is how we can operate it while riding the bike itself right so when we are at top speeds uh, uh, it, it's easy to handle the buttons are tactile as i already mentioned they are quite accessible and uh, it will take some getting used to but uh, even with the thick gloves uh, you can easily operate answer the calls change the volume uh, etc so it, it's a little hard to do other operations like you know press and hold the jog dial change the song and all sometimes you might get confused but it will take a little time to getting used to it but they are extremely accessible it's it's definitely useful gadget for your helmet and kind of safe to it will avoid uh, you know or prevent you from having any uncalled incidents by having easy accesses to the buttons etc so considering the price range it's a very good buy definitely no doubt in that and with a lot of features few issues i can think of one is the proprietary port so you cannot use any other headsets if 3.5 port was there it would have been better the sound quality in high speeds it's uh, really pathetic you cannot hear anybody even over the calls even the music uh, quality is not that great the ear pieces are quite thick causing uncomfortable uh, ear pain and also single device connection which in this era of bluetooth 5 and 6 and whatever they should have given multi device connection yeah that's all i think let me know if i have missed anything